Hi everyone, this is F.A. Ina of WonderingMom.ph and for this video, we will be talking about Berry Bench. Yeah. So for all the moms out there and those who are fans of strawberry jam, I would like to introduce to you a new product that came all the way from Baguio. This is made by my former colleague. He is also a former cabin crew and uh, his name is Benjamin Cruz. Yeah. He's also known, popularly known as Bench Cruz. Well, actually, aside from making the Berry Bench, he also shifted his career kasi back to singing. Singing kasi is his first love. So, ayan, he's a famous country singer in Baguio and he is an endorser of a lot of products and services there as well. Pero ito talaga is one of his passion also, making strawberry jam. Actually, this came from Green Valley. It's uh, It came from their district, the strawberries. And uh, this is a classic American recipe. It, he made sure also that it has less sugar. Yan. Ayaw rin niya kasi na masyadong matamis. Pareho kami. Kaya this is perfect for me also. Nung tinikman ko nga siya, hindi talaga siya ganun katamis. Nakakatuwa. Kasi kaya mo ubusin yung buong jar without having that um, taste of suya. You know? Na, kasi sobrang tamis. Or ano pa man. You can, you can actually eat it on its own. Kaya to, sobrang ako natutuwa sa kanya. At sobrang tuwa ko, tinernohan ko siya. Diba? Kaya, aside from the introduction of this new product by Bench Cruise, Berry Bench, I'm also going to make a recipe using this strawberry jam. Yan. Kasi sobrang tuwa ko sa kanya dahil hindi siya ganun katamis. I really think it's going to be perfect doon sa mga recipe, dessert recipes that are using strawberry jam. Yan. So, sobra akong excited to use this uh, strawberry jam berry bench for my dessert recipes. And ang napili ko ay ang strawberry jam jam and cream cheese crumble bars. Yan. So this video, I will make that recipe and I'll be using this berry bench strawberry jam. Perfect talaga siya for dessert recipes. Kung baga hindi siya overpowering and it will blend well with the other ingredients na sa recipe. So ngayon, para magkaroon siya ng konting contrast, I'll be making this dessert with cream cheese. So you can just imagine, my God, kung gano'n siya kasarap pagkatapos. Diba? Okay, lovies, before we make the crumble bars, I would like you to take a good look first of the packaging and the product itself, the strawberry jam, okay? So, this is the packaging. Um, as you can see on top of the lid, there is, a, there is an expiration date right there. And you would also realize that it expires the same year. Meaning, it doesn't really have that ingredient kasi to prolong its shelf life because it is organic. Yan. So, it has to be consumed right away. So, well, it has to be kept refrigerated. And, ayun nakalagay, it has less sugar there. Tapos, itong cuteness na to, ala, arte lang yan. Pero, it's so nice, right? So, aside from the sealed lid, it also has uh, a plastic seal around it. Yan. So, we will be opening this, okay? I want to keep the ribbon kasi it's so cute. Pero we have to take it off kasi madudumihan din to eventually pag napatakan and all that. So, ayan. Tapos, we will break the plastic seal. Quite easy. There you go. Ayan. Tapos, I hope I'm strong enough to open the lid. Let's see, huh? I'm not. Okay, matigas siya. Well, actually, may trick dyan. Ayan mo siya na para medyo mag, mag loosen And there you go! Yay! And that is the product itself. As you can see. Ayan. Tapos, to take a better look at it, let's scoop it out. Wow! Kita niyo ba siya, lovies? Grabe, no? So, meron siyang buo-buong strawberry like a traditional Filipino strawberry jam. Eee, closer look. Yes. Ayan siya. Matutuwa talaga kayo sa lasa nito. I hope you get to try it. So, lovies, we will now start making our strawberry jam and cream cheese crumble bar. Alright? And, syempre, dapat naka-apron ka at dapat talaga naka-off shoulders ka. So before we start, lovies, we have to preheat our oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius.
And now I'm installing the paddle attachment para mag-incorporate sila maigi before natin ilagay yung softened butter. Now, if wala kang tiwala sa paddle attachment mo, katulad ko, <laughs> haluin mo siya ng maigi pa with your spatula para siguradong lahat ng gilid nakuha talaga. Now, using your clean hand, make sure it's clean. Ihahalo na natin ang butter sa dry ingredients. There. Tapos, make sure lang na ang kalalabasan niya talaga, you know, it na maging crumbly siya. Yan, like that. Kailangan crumbly. Very good. So here, lovies, ang gagamitin mo dapat sa 9x9 na pan, pero wala kasi tayong budget dyan, so nag-improvise na lang ako. <laughs> so you're going to place 2 thirds of your mixture, yan. Tapos, ifa-flatten mo siya, panggigilan mo ng bongga, katulad ng ginagawa ko ngayon. Yan, hanggang dun sa corner, make sure, and make it even as much as possible, okay? Ayan na siya. Achieved. Mm. Ngayon, pwede na natin ilagay ang ating berry bench strawberry jam. Ang kailangan sa recipe na ito bali is yung buong content ng bote. Bali, love is yung difference pala ng berry bench strawberry jam from the other Baguio strawberry jams is that they use natural apple pectin that gives its natural aroma, viscosity, and that extra yummy flavor. Kitang-kita naman, di ba? So, ngayon, nilalagay na natin yung cream cheese. Ang ginawa ko, finreezer ko muna siya, then pinalambot ko ng konti para maging crumbly siya. And I guess the best way to put it is by using your hands. Diba? Tapos, ayan, nilalagay na natin yung crumble. And, okay lang na hindi siya masyadong even. Actually, maganda nga yung medyo nagsashow yung strawberry jam and cream cheese. And the best way to place it is you press it firmly against your palm like what I just did and then saka mo siya i-crumble. Mm, perfect! Ayan, so natapos na natin siya, ilalagay na natin siya sa oven. Make sure talaga na na-preheat nyo yung oven para paglagay ninyo, mag-start na agad yung cooking process niya. And importante kasi yon, okay? Para maging accurate tayo. So, ayan na siya, ilalagay na natin siya sa middle rack ng preheated oven natin and we will bake it for 35 to 45 minutes. Ayan na siya, lovies! Nakapag-cut na ako ng isang bar and my god, it looks amazing! Kitang-kita yung strawberry jam sa gitna and of course yung cream cheese. Grabe, gusto ko na siya tikman pero lalagyan muna natin siya ng custard. Yan. That vanilla custard I made actually medyo minadali ko kaya sorry kung hindi siya ganun ka-smooth pero masarap yan. Ayan, so let's take a piece. Medyo mahirap palang mag-cut, no? Habang nagka-camera. Mm, point. Yes, there you go. We will try it already, okay? Oh my god, ang sarap. Love is, this is my first time making it. Ang sobrang sarap. Actually, tinitikman na siya ng mga anak ko. Sabi nila, ang sarap-sarap nga daw. Totoo! Wow! 
no, as I predicted, you know, yung strawberry jam is hindi masyadong overpowering. Tamang-tama lang yung tamis niya. And yung tartness ba? It goes very well with the cream cheese. Yung whole strawberry niya dun sa jam. Ang kunat! <laughs> Ang galing! Nakakatuwa! Okay to ah. Guys, you should try this. You should really try it. Matutuwa yung buong pamilya nyo dito. And of course, very bench, don't forget. Mmm! I love it so much. Sobra. I am so happy that I made it. You know? And if you'd like to purchase Berry Benj, I'll be uh, leaving the link below sa caption. Para you can have your own jars of Berry Benj. Ang dami niyong magagawa na recipe using that. And of course, your morning breakfast, syempre, di ba? With peanut butter and your favorite toast. Mm, Saya-saya. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Till the next video. Love you, loveies.